And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Zed. This is going to be our next deck. This is going to be a Grand Plaza deck with Zed. That's definitely a very good combination. And of course, Garen at the top end. We got some other spicy stuff in here. We got Ren Shadow Blade creating some Shadow Fiends for us that will be good with the Grand Plaza. Uh, we're definitely going to be a Grand Plaza deck. Um, but we have a lot of good Demacia stuff. You know, we have our Fleet Feather Tracker, Bright Steel Protector. That's always a good combination. These kind of decks can run out of cards. They don't have like the the most like card advantage or anything. And so having cards that create other cards is important. So we're gonna have like Egghead Researcher in here creating some dragons for us. Then obviously the Shadow Blade creates those Shadow Fiends. So those can give us a little bit of extra um, juice towards the top end. But you can see we have like some similar spells to like a Shen Fiora deck with like Repost and Deny, um, you know, Sharp Sight, Single Combat, uh, Concerted Strike. So a bunch of good spells. And then we got River Shapers in here to draw those spells because again, we, we kind of need some more card advantage in this kind of deck. So River Shaper will, will do a good job of that. Plus River Shaper with Grand Plaza could allow us to have River Shaper be a 3-3 three, three, three challenger that we get to challenge like a smaller unit, like a 1-1 one, one or something, instead of allowing them to block with their larger thing. So that could help out too. Or just we get, or just um, like with the plaza, we gain other challengers that they can challenge the, the big units and then maybe have our River Shaper not uh, die in combat as easily. But let's give it a try. Let's keep it going. Let's try to keep these wins going. We've been on a, a huge streak recently. With the last three days, we're 24 and 1 in our last 25 games. Let's try to keep that going. Ooh. Sorakatom. This is maybe our first time to play against Sorakatom. <laughs> yeah, I think this is probably the best streak we've been on because we went our last five decks. We've had four 5-0s and a 4-1 in our last five decks. Soraka Tom's going to be difficult, for sure. Um, I kind of want to keep single combat. We need to find Plaza. More so than anything else. I guess I'll just mulligan it. I don't know about that single combat. Okay, we have the Plaza. That's the card that I want to keep. But finding Plaza... Like, if, if we had Plaza, I would definitely be keeping the single combat. Like the Prismatic Barrier. Stars live with purpose. The more we learn, the less we fear. All right, just gonna double spell right here. This is going to be a difficult one to win. Got your back. So I know they're going to they're going to use like Pill Cascade to like save their box to puss or you know something like that. And then they'll be able to reheal their box to puss. But <clears throat> it is getting those cards out of their hand, right? Like, I, I need to... It's those... Ooh. That's good for me. I was going to say, those cards are going to be awesome no matter what. I need to get those cards out of their hand. I'm still good to scrap. I'm definitely glad that they have not had their landmark yet. As long as they don't find their landmark and they don't have, like, Tom Kench, I'll be happy. For justice, for Demacia. Don't always get what you wish for. Water changes, but never breaks. All right, I'm gonna go double River Shaper. River shape the land and give it life. Demacia! I understand. 
So basically, with I was a little. I don't really want them to go pale cascade, make their thing a five two block. You know, have box supposed to be a five two block Garen. I didn't really want that to happen. What form will the waters take? Waters are still. So astral protection, you know, obviously saves it. But it still counts as a, you know, that still counts as a strike. Again, got astral protection out of their hands. Still counts as a strike, so now we get to attack on both turns. Which Garen attacking on both, you know, having rally on both turns with Grand Plaza is awesome. And so, um, you know, now, now we get to play like these things in rally. So obviously playing that so we can still have single combat available. <laughs> Boxfuss is so funny. Yeah, Boxfuss has great lines. A lot of Village Water cards have awesome voice lines. Definitely. single combat that, but can also wait. Wow, now this is hard. Okay, never mind. GG's. I think I would play River Shaper and Zed right there instead of playing just Eclipse Dragon. Ooh. Discard Burn. Our only deck to beat us in the last... 26 games. Our one loss was to a discard burn deck. Alright, Mulligan, Mulligan. Egghead Researcher is a good blocker. Sharp Sight's a really good spell. It's not Plaza. Ooh, this is... Alright, so do... Having a whole bunch of two mana spells win you the game. I guess we'll kind of find out... Yuck. Cadrachin's the worst card. The worst thing that Egghead Researcher makes. Oh my gosh. This is kind of crazy. This is what happened. This was our, our one loss so far in the last 26. was just drawing pretty poorly against Discard Burn and them just going like all aggro and everything. Not good. It's Draven time. Got your back. Not good. Watch and learn. Watch and burn. Come back later. No closer. That's, that was the main reason why I kept Sharp Sight to begin with, though, is how Egghead Researcher plus Sharp Sight, how that matches up well against Draven. Now we even have a barrier on there to boot. Is that going to be a Whirling Death? Time for the That's what it looks like. Get excited, man. That's pretty good. We'll have those fights. That's a, that vision is going to be a little rough, you know, getting that three damage in there. Okay, what do we got? 
Zed, let's go. I am the blade in the darkness. I am the blue. They're using a lot of get excited. They won't suffer long. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. I am shadow. I wanted to use Bright Steel Protector on the Zed before attacking, but the answer is here somewhere. Hmm. Again, wanted to use Bright Steel Protector on that. First, let's stop. Okay, so I could single combat. Which I guess I'd do that. Kind of look at this. I'd still have a concerted strike for next turn if they you know end up with like a jinx next turn. So I, the, the problem with playing the Fleet Feather Tracker is the Fleet Feather Tracker trades with the Flame Chompers right now. So I guess I just pass and take the five. Or six, I guess. That was a great augmented experimenter. So even though I'd like to play Bright Steel Protector, I think I have to keep Concerted Strike up for Jinx. I want this Garen to level up. Gosh, they had Jinx also? Yeah, I mean, I, I have to use Concerted Strike on... Concerted Strike on, uh... Jinx, I guess. Still looks this looks terrible for me. I think I think this is yeah, this is just us taking lethal right here. All they all they have to do is just challenge the Garen and then this is lethal. Great hand. Great hand. Ours was not so great. If Cadrigent, you know, like if we made if we made any kind of dragon we could play, right? Like so. You know, like you know, like this turn I wouldn't play the Grand Plaza. If it was like any kind of dragon we could play, they could have done like some blocking. That would have been nice. You can install judgment. Blood, glory. Well, they didn't. The they didn't do the very obvious challenge Garen lethal. So I guess we still have a shot, I guess. Yeah, like they have lethal. It's still very, you know, it's still not a good chance that we win this, but they did just miss lethal, so 
I at least have a chance. I couldn't say that previously. Yeah, I mean, we got a chance. Was that last card the third get excited? They've already used two, so hopefully not. We won! We won! Catrogen! For the win! Wow. I almost just conceded. Because they, they had lethal, but they missed it. Alright, scouts. This is, this is a deck that we have not been playing against on our streak, right? Like, yesterday we didn't play against Scouts at all. Um, it's a good hand. I wonder if I should be keeping that Cythria. I don't really know why I didn't attack and ask for a trade. That's a good trade for me. Because like they have they have just a, a lot more um, potential with misfortune and everything. And I guess that that'd be a reason not to keep repost would be misfortune. The ocean charts our course. This is our way. Huh. Huh. That's a surprise. Bless is Mosha. So the problem with playing Zed is they could do that same thing. They could play, you know, like a, you know, again another three five. They could block. Um, because I don't have enough for Zed plus Prismatic Barrier. Sweep them away. So maybe I just attack here. But then again, if they play the three five right now, then they don't have it on, you know, they don't have it like on their Plaza turn. Form will the waters take? I would like some sharp sights. That's what I would like. We play in bilge rules. Some. Water changes but never breaks. Yuppie! I got the spirits. These are my rules. Man, I really like the pool shark and fortune croaker in here. They just get so many cards. Yeah, that's true. Deny, deny helps shut down Quinn. I guess that's that's what they're trying to do here. They're trying to do this and then Quinn. Yeah, that's that's probably what they're trying to do is Quinn, or or the uh, this the other scout, um, the four mana scout that makes two bodies, could be trying to do that also. Whoa, I'm happy with that. Two slots taken up by Grand Plaza. That's not bad. I've got your back. A guy go on then. Give us some room. 
So why are you not attacking? I don't really have to use single combat. I could. Basically, I could use single combat and kill, like, any of these. I don't really have to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. A gift from the river folk. Yay, sharp sight. What form will the Yay, sharp sight. Pledge ah. yourself to the shadows. Yeah, I am clearing space for them. so many options. It's difficult when you have 10 cards in hand. You have just so many options of different things to do. You know, Concerted Strike the Scythria, Concerted Strike the Misfortune. I'm going to try this. So many options. I'm gonna go double sharp sight. We just go with another concerted strike. I can go prismatic barrier. Let's go prismatic barrier. So many options. So now they challenge. Kind of expecting that to be the other way around. But that's fine. Well, it's not as fine. Let's just go sharp sight. I think I want to kill... Or, sorry, I think I want Zed to stay alive more than killing any particular thing. Darkness, motion, and nothing. Please control. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. Easy, tiger. Cool. I like getting rid of that scout. Alright, so that was another Quinn. Quinn's blinding assault. Oh, they just have Rally. I guess I played into Rally. Yeah, so obviously I shouldn't have played the Mind Splitter into Rally. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously I played into Rally there. Well, I guess I'm not... Oh, no, I am dead, right? Because this attacks, that's the fourth. No, I'm maybe not dead. Dead. They have two. They challenge two things. I block the Scythria with the other. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess I am dead. Dead. No, maybe not. It's our time to 
No, because Mind Splitter will be able to stay alive. So I block here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I don't know why this thing didn't challenge the, the mind splitter. Into darkness. If they just challenged again, if they just had their five power challenge the mind splitter. But they didn't do that. So Cythria stunned. So the problem, yeah. So I can concerted strike and kill the Valor, but then then they have their Bite Seal Protector kill my Infinite Mind Splitter. Um, either like no matter what, they can kill, they can kill it. But if if I do that, they they for sure kill Mind Splitter with Bite Seal Protector. If I do this, then maybe they have their Valor again challenge Mind Splitter. They probably don't, but maybe. And if they do, then we can keep it alive. They did. Haha. -ha. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe like how how lucky we're getting. Well, we're keeping our streak going. Sounds when you're hot, you're hot. That should have been a loss again. Um, but they just did the wrong challenge. And missed it. Alright, I, I I am not confident in beating Draven Jinx. Because again, we're playing some tough matchups. We're playing against Draven Jinx again. This is not the kind of deck we want to face. Um, yeah, this is going to be a tough matchup. Can we catch up if I do nothing, basically nothing on turn one, two, or three? Can we catch up? You're covered. Maybe not. Maybe not. I guess we play the Sprite Seal Protector. It's Draven time. I know I could repost block. I think it's more important to get Grand Plaza in play than repost block. Time for the money makers. See this again. My opponent definitely should have done that before attacking and then just flame chompers challenge my Bright Seal Protector, right? And then get like more damage in, should they? I feel like that's what they should do. thing out here you should try blinking sometime mm. so if I do that they can go, they can open attack for like four damage maybe I don't maybe I just block with these awesome cards yeah that's probably better just to block with the awesome cards and then have single combat for Garen because it's still trading you know we're still basically trading this spot anyway I kind of think I should maybe I should be blocking Draven here and then they they go burn spell on my river shaper and then I fight Jinx afterwards and then then I would have the block on the Draven now we're cooking all right they're going for level up Draven that's fine 
So if they go, you know, if they go burn spell on my river shaper, then I can fight. Okay, they're not going to. What's my name? Raven. That was a pretty easy quiz. I do not, Chief, no. Two Jinx down, which is good. That's their best card in their deck, and two of them are already gone. Got axes, need victims. He is the first of many foes. So that is good. Now two Dravens are done. So two Jinx are dead and two Dravens are dead. Obviously that was a Jinx, or sorry, a Dravens whirling death. A third Jinx? Come on. Honestly, like third Jinx was like the only card that killed me. <laughs> Besides aug Augmented Experimenter. But come on, third Jinx? So I kind of need to single combat this Jinx right now before it unloads its hand. Um, this isn't isn't ideal, but I have to do this before they unload their hand. I still have Grizzled Ranger mana. Now we're looking great. All right, there we go. GG's. Four and O. Oh. That's game. All right, and Draven Swain. This is going to be our deck to try to finish out the 5 0. -oh. We will go Mulligan and. Maybe keep. Let's see, we have the attack token on the even turns. Not as good. So I go Egghead Researcher on two, Plaza on three. Maybe we want this protector. Maybe I keep both protectors. Ooh, I like that. But. Yeah, I got. Mm. So on five, I can have like River Shaper plus protector. Witness the fiction. Ballistic Bot sounds so cruel. The meat bags. Cool. I was considering going like Plaza on 3 and Plaza on 4 anyway. Now, obviously, we're definitely doing that Plaza on 3 and Plaza on 4. That will give me two spell mana, which is the perfect amount for single combat. The party has arrived. Let's do this. Come back later. Seize the 
I guess I could sharp sight, but nah. I want that I want the, the two mana to be able to use with these cards. Oh, that hurts. That hurts for sure. What form will the waters take? I've got your back. Because you know it would have been all the challenge with this. I can still single combat with this, and it does protect if, if they do have ravenous flock. Their hand has been awesome. But they do have a ravenous flock also. Bot or Draven? I don't really want to allow them to keep creating these ignitions. Let's go, Draven. Because if I cast that, then I have, like, you know, nothing with the Garen. And also just do this. So we go to 12. A gift from the river folk. All right, so now Thermogenic Beam can only, like, if they have a Thermogenic Beam, they can only do six. So I'll have the sharp sight still for protection. Ooh, Grizzled Ranger. All right, let's miss some food. Grizzled Ranger, good. These arachnoid sentries are killing me. This is going to be close. I don't necessarily think this is definitely going our way. That's great. No ravenous flock or you know thermogenic beam or anything like that. That's great. Now they play Leviathan, I play Infinite Mind Splitter. Stun those. So I have 16 damage right now. So I cannot make it lethal. Right now. When I play this. Be a leveled up Garen. Okay. 
Alright, this will all do. Hopefully it's something that's smaller than an 8-8. Because they're like tapped out. Hopefully it's something smaller than an 8-8. Their 7 drop. 7-6. That is smaller than an 8-8. So I'm going to just kill it. Also, like a one mana thermogenic beam. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they have spinning axe. Uh, it's alright. It's still lethal. <laughs> I forgot about spinning axe. I don't know why. I was thinking like thermogenic beam, ravenous block. That kind of stuff. But this is still, still just fine. And there we go. 14 damage from the Zed. 6 from the, the Garen. But yeah, I guess I could have just challenged. Yeah, that was a 9 mana. They got Mina Swiftfoot with that Tribeam and Probulator. Alright, so there we go. That was a really good hand for them, as we talked about. Like that, yeah, like their, their hand. Because, you know, they had what? Like Ballistic Bot on turn 2 and then Draven. And they had some like removal and and like, uh, and just like, you know, good amount of removal in the 4-3. Then they had Leviathan on turn 8. And all that stuff that they had there on turn 9. That was a good hand for them. But yet another 5-0 for us. And our ridiculous streak continues. Man, we got some luck in these games. Um, we had two games where our opponents missed lethal, um, thankfully. <laughs> uh, they were not... Well, one of them was an easy lethal to see. The second one was not necessarily as e easy of a lethal to see. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's that's twenty. Yeah, 29 and 1. So that's... And so those of y'all watching on YouTube, I'm not, you know, like, these are all games that we're playing, like, live on stream and everything. Like, this is not me, like, just a, only posting, like, 5-0s and, and, you know, like, we're not posting, like, other decks or I'm, I'm, you know, deleting games that we lose. This is legitimately our last six decks that we've played, our last 30 games. We've won 29 out of the 30. Just an unreal streak, a streak I've never had before. Um, it's just... Yeah, like I don't know if we'll ever have this kind of streak again. But legit, I haven't I haven't even, I haven't even played any other games besides these 30 <laughs> since since Scout Aggro 2 days ago and then all three decks yesterday and then the two decks today. I have not played any games besides those 30. We've those are legitimately 30 games in a row and we've won 29 out of the 30. Um in ranked. So we went from 11 games like in platinum, eleven games away from diamond. Till now, we are in diamond and almost all the way through diamond. We're now three wins away, right? I think just three wins away from masters rank now. Um, yeah, River Shaper really carried in this deck. Yeah, River Shaper was awesome. Um, the Garen was really good. Garen with, um, with Grand Plaza of attacking on both turns is pretty awesome. Um. But yeah, River Shaper got us, like, we we had so many spells all the time, right? Like, we always had a bunch of sharp sights and single combats and repose and things like that in our hands. Um, Egghead Researcher was, was like, sneaky good in those games. For just a, just a two of, it was sneaky good of, like, playing Egghead Researcher early so we don't die. And then we had really good dragons, like, right? We cast, like, Infinite Mind Splitter multiple times. Um, we had an Eclipse Dragon one game. We had a Cadrogen another game. So we... we yeah, this Egghead Researcher was sneaky good. They're giving us that top, those top end dragons that we needed, plus having a blocker out here. Um, no, Ren never came up big. It did. It did one like there was one game where it it helped us win because um, my opponent rallied. They even did the the Shen GG emote, and that because I only had one mana left, and I you know I got to play the one mana Shadow Fiend to be a very very important blocker. So it did come up big that one time. But, but there we go. Anyway, that's Garen Zed. So playing Zed with Grand Plaza, um, this one worked really well. Um, all right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this kind of streak. Come here, pup. We got puppy up here too. Um, yeah, leave those comments. You know, try try out some of these decks. Let me know what you think. If these are the kind of decks you like to play, if you like to play Zed decks, you know, give give this one a try. Um, or you know, like any of those other decks that we've been playing recently that we've been doing so well with. Um, you know, they're different decks than what you normally see in the metagame. So, you know, maybe you find something you really like. You know, like that Heimer Abyss deck. I really like that one, for example. 
um, you know, just one of these others. All right, but that's all I got here for Garen Zed. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.